12 Now's Kate Levins introduces us to those working to make a difference in your community with Kay. Welcome back everyone. It's so hard to believe that the Tennessee Aquarium is now celebrating 30 years of success right here in the Tennessee Valley. They've done so much for our community and abroad. Let's get the very latest on what's going to be going on as far as activities to celebrate that big event with Tom Benson with the Tennessee Aquarium. Always good to see you, Tom. Good to see you, Kay. Thanks for joining us. First of all, tell us about this celebration. Yeah, so we, um, you know, celebrating 30 years, the 30th anniversary officially is May 1st, but we have put together a riverfront celebration for the community uh, on April 30th, which is the Saturday before May 1st. So we partnered with the Walk Run Pedal Jams Festival to offer a day of activities. It'll be on the riverfront from athletic activities to uh, family friendly activities and then uh, music throughout the day and into the evening and then wrapping up with a fireworks display at nine o'clock that night. You guys are also gonna be offering some treats, some produce. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, we, um, again, we, we wanted to say thank you to the community for 30 years of support. Uh, we just got our uh, annual economic impact study revised and we found that we have, uh, over each year, we're giving back to the community $146 million in economic benefits. And it supports about 1,300 jobs in the community. And we're real proud of that, but it couldn't have happened without the community support. So what we wanted to do was offer uh, some activities and, and fun as a thank you from us to the community for 30 years of support. So again, starts off with the athletic activities. There's a 30 minute uh, fun walk and fun run. There'll be a 30K bike ride in uh, you know, recognition of the aquarium's 30th anniversary. And then we'll start with the Chattanooga River Market. Some activities to be on the Chattanooga Green and on the riverfront right behind the aquarium uh, with some music that kicks off at 11 o'clock. We'll have food trucks there and a lot of fun activities for our families. So go check it out, folks. Also, tell us a little bit about the music. Who's going to be performing? Yeah, so if you're a fan of the TV show The Voice, uh, we've got two stars from that show. Uh, the headliner uh, playing just before the fireworks will be Chris Blue. Uh, he was the winner, I believe, on season 12 of that uh, show. And also Sarah Hill from The Voice. And then uh, we've got Willie Kitchens, uh, famous Chad Nugent, will be performing. And a lot, of, a lot of other artists that are scheduled beginning at uh, 11 o'clock all the way through 9 p.m. Sounds like a fun event. Tom, it's hard to believe it's been 30 years. You know, more than 26 million people have walked through the doors at the Tennessee Aquarium. That number is astounding to me. Yeah, it really is. And for a mid-sized American city to have one of the world's top rated aquariums right here and be able to see everything from the colorful freshwater fishes that we have right here in the streams around us to penguins from Antarctica is pretty remarkable. And it's really been an incredible journey, but a, a partnership with everybody here in the community. You know, we get a lot of support from visitors. Your ticket helps support the aquarium every time you visit the aquarium or the IMAX 3D theater. Uh, the members that uh, pay a little bit extra to have those unlimited visits throughout the year. And certainly all of the corporate and philanthropic gifts that we have received over the years to maintain our nonprofit mission, to expand our conservation work and our educational programs in the community. If folks would like some more information on how they can attend the event coming up on April the 30th, how do they get it, Tom? Yep, you can go to our fa Facebook page. There's an event right there, but also you can find it on our website at tnaqua.org. Thank you again for the information. Looking forward to the celebration. If you would like some more information about this, again, go check out their website and go visit them coming up on April the 30th. It's going to be a great celebration right here in the scenic city. For more on this interview, go to our website at WDEF.com.